So behind me is our Jeep JL. It's brand new, it's a brand new engine. It's a two liter hurricane motor. It's a mild hybrid. So it has a generator alternator type thing that assists spinning the motor before the turbocharger kicks in. Being turbocharged, it has an intercooler. Intercooler is located in the intake manifold. So we wanted to design a better flowing pipe than the OEM unit. That's what we did. So first we 3D printed it, did all the test fit, ran some flow bench numbers, way out flow the factory unit. There's a couple other advantages too. You get a positive seal when you bolt the blow-off valve back on. There's no deflection in this plasticky thing here. Being cast aluminum, it's a real heavy duty piece. The other thing we did was we provided this area here for you to drill and tap for gauges or water meth. Being new, there's a lot of plastic in under this engine bay. You really can't drill and tap into the plastic. So we wanted to provide this extra space in case you wanted to add accessories because it's gonna be important as you progress your modifications on the platform. So I'm gonna show you how to drill and tap in the area we provided. So I'm gonna put it in a clamp, I'm gonna vise it, make sure it's a sturdy thing. You wanna center punch exactly where you want your drill and tap to go. So this will be my spot. That provides a nice center point for the drill not to walk around. And we're doing a standard eighth inch NPT, which is pretty much the common, most common thing in the industry for drilling and tapping. Now your hole is drilled. Standard eighth inch NPT. You want to lubricate the threads a little bit. Start it nice and even. Follow the same path you drilled. Once you get the threads to bite, what I like to do is get it started, back it off half turn, go back in, back it off a half a turn, cut some threads, back it off, and just repeat that until you're all the way through and there's no more threads to cut. Back this all the way out. A couple important things. You wanna wear eye protection. You wanna blow your flutes out. For next time. You wanna make sure You clean this thoroughly and deburr any hanging threads or pieces of cast aluminum. You don't want this to get in your engine. So adding accessories to this intercooler pipe is that easy. Just reinstall the pipe and you're ready to hit the trails.